Fan Phil Collins is a vibe. No, uh, you don't even think to change. What the fuck is the topic of this shit? I died. Fuck it. It was what I'm saying. Okay, you just said, hey, we can get a good. I didn't think, man, I ain't got time for that. That's what the topic was supposed to be, but we're changing it. But anyway, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Death Fresh Show. It is I, Mr. Tom Bell. Me and Juan is back in the building. As we do an impromptu uh, show real quick. Before the return of the, uh, the what, what is, like she's saying, it's a return. Is that you didn't go anywhere? We legit did a show last week. Hey, you know, she's saying it's a return because she was locked down immediately afterwards. Because I'm like, what return? Like we didn't like, skip a Sunday. It's like saying you played your last basketball game, and as you walked out the door, the police picked you up so you could go ahead and do this quick three months in jail, and then as soon as you got out. It's time for the new season. Tom. So it feels like <laughs> you've been away from the world, but we ain't missed you. Right, right that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, <laughs> it's the return. No, it's not, bro. We were legit here last it's week. Return, right? It's the return of the young hustle. I, and I believe I got off work at the same time. You did. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah. not a return of anything. But uh, for those of you guys who, who have been rocking with us, uh, one day we'll get back on our normal schedule. Yeah. Uh, right now, we just having our summer session. Uh, yesterday, I needed a full blown mental health day, but I'm kind of glad we did cancel because we were supposed to record damn near during the thunderstorm. Yeah, that <laughs> so, was nuts. It was mad. <laughs> My girls was mad. They just left to go to the park. And turned right back around. As you can see. I just got my hair done. Yeah, and he, he fresh retwist. I'd have been so pissed outside. If the weather if the weather frizz your hair up. But dog, hair <laughs> killing man. So do you have like a new hair treatment now? Like a new re- regimen you have to do every morning? No, not really. Okay. Not yet at least. Uh, I mean I see the growth. You getting there. That's what I'm saying, man. Just well, appreciate the up. growth. Like you know, I got a new hairstyle, you got a new hairstyle. Yes, you 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 go keep on with this Joe Levert look. Look, bruh. I I don't know. Luther was winning. I'm like, hey, what you what you are you, you secretly are you secretly writing R and B songs, Tom? Yeah, like, like is that is that yes. how you've been getting over like your little mental? And I'm not saying that as little. No, no, no. Songs, Believe it or not, dog. If you pay attention, breaking most breaking. artists' greatest album is when they're having mental issues. So because you, so because now this is not a knock to people with mental health, but. Like, so because in the deep, dark crevices of your mind, you had a moment where you felt like nobody loved you, even though that's not true. I just feel like when you have a mental break, that's some shit that you go through. First and foremost, fuck you, because that's exactly how I was feeling. And then, like, like, mental health be so crazy. And I had you thinking it, some shit that okay, don't even so be true. This is, this is not what we're supposed to be talking about. We're supposed to be talking about the value of money eventually. Like, but, that, we don't that. but no, what ends up happening sometimes is when the world doesn't match your effort, right? but yet you see other people who do not deserve to be where they are, getting all the accolades and praises, it makes you question your value. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I have to be a bitch ass nigga for you to realize my value? Because if I'm being a bitch ass nigga, then I'm not being true to myself. Right. Because if I want to care about you, but the only way you respond back to me is when I don't give a fuck about you, I don't want that. So maybe I don't want you. But then who wants me? I'm not even looking twice at you because I don't see you past the friendship. But that's where my post the other day came from about would you date your best friend? Now, if your best friend is of the same sex, flip it as if there was a female version of that person or a male version. Who knows? Sexuality is a spectrum this day and age. But surprisingly, a lot of women said they would not date their best friends. Yet, we are told your mate should be like your best friend. Yo, wild. Let me think about that. And I, I not only okay, so so that way we can actually roll into the topic. I really Yo, had. like I okay, so you saying that now? I I was having a conversation with Aziza. We were talking about that. 
because we was on topic of dating for some odd ass reason. Oh, I, I know why y'all was. But on we was on topic of dating. Right. It's, a, it's a theme right now. It's a theme everywhere. We were talking about like she feels like there should be some level of friendship before you start dating, which is true because theoretically they always say like your your mate your partner should you know be your best friend exactly and then i thought about it and i was like i don't really know if i want my partner to be my bestie like I, the way i thought about it it felt crazy for a second like when you think about it because by definition your best friend you share everything with this is true okay like i know shit nobody else knows about you and vice versa see and that's what i thought about right because i was like she was like well wouldn't you want your partner to be like your best friend right and i, and I was like no homo, i don't know if i want a bitch like tone <laughs> I, don't, I don't i don't now i don't know if this is where the conversation was going but this is my like this no, 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 you you right but this was my thought process when she was saying why like why wouldn't you want your girl to be a best friend and i was like I don't know if I would want my girl to be like Tom. Because I'm like, when you think about what is your best friend or what should a best friend be, it's right. like, I don't know if I really like, it's certain things I want to share with my girl. And then it's some things that I, I feel like it's just, just for my best friend. Okay. Now, I'm glad you. So, me and one of my friends who technically has fallen in the best friend category because our level of history has been having conversations. Okay. So we threw this topic out there. Like, this is one of the persons I literally asked a question to. Like, could we date? And she gave me a list of all the things that she has asked for in relationships in the past. Right. That, to me, is just a normal thing anyway. So I'm sitting there like, damn, is a dating pool really that bad where you have to ask for what should be dubbed basic requirements okay what would you consider a basic requirement okay hold on let me see i can go ahead and find some of our conversations she ain't gonna be mad if i use it because she literally listens to the show and be like these are some of the things that i care about <laughs> so right 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 Tone got about seven cameras in this motherfucker. You gonna catch you gonna catch this handsome from all angles today. Okay, so you know oh, I've yes. always planned that I wanted to have us to the point where prime example, the R. Kelly interview, where it was a camera on him, it was a camera on her, and it was a camera on both and it was a camera at the angle. And, it, and they just switched like I want to be at the point one time that we'd be like, hey, camera three, camera four, zoom in with camera six. I want that. That's what I want us to be at at one point in time. So she was like, basically in so many words, she want a mate that's a reflection of her. She wants someone that has a drive that matches her. She wants someone to be open to new ideas, someone who conveys, communicate. That's probably bro. Who fuck called I think, me it's, I think it's bro. It's probably bro. Fuck out of here. Probably bro. Lately, he's been coming up like that. Oh, okay. okay. But basically, this like communication in so many words. Right, right. Communication and effort. Sum it up in a nutshell. Right, basic, that, that, okay, that's basic. That, that's basic. Like, okay. why are we talking if you can't do that? Okay. Like, get you. her whole thing was, and this is where my post, that I, the last, last post I posted, where I said, if we dating and you not trying to uplift me and I'm not trying to uplift you, what are why, we, why are we here? What are we doing? We're just fucking it. We're just fucking it. Even if we ain't even fucking fully yet. We're just wasting after, each other's time. We're just wasting each other's time. Okay, like, let me you. help you go find somebody who... It's going to uplift you because I got shit to do if that's the problem, you know? And I'm like, but she's one of my best friends because I've known her literally for almost as long as I've known Teresa, if not longer. Okay. Because so I think I met them right about the same time. So we're talking double digits. Double, double digits. Oh, okay. Like, we old. We done work together. We done hung together. We done pod together. We done did a lot of shit together. So you asked her. So you pretty much asked her, were you dateable in her, in her eyes? Actually, I was randomly just I'm like, hey. No, I'm just, I mean, it's okay. It's something that not that I was dateable, question. but could you see us dating? Okay. More so than anything. And she was like, you know what? Yes, but how would that affect our friendship if it doesn't work out? 
Because we're both Sagittarius. Uh, and you know that the minute something rub us around, we check out. That's, that's, that's tough. I mean, do you think it would affect the friendship? I told her. Because this is going to actually, we just doing this until right, we get here. Yeah, right, we just started doing something. Yeah, we just started doing something until you got here. That's all. Because we had a conversation in the car, Mimi. Right. So for those who can't see the comments because we didn't post it, Mimi was, we initially was going to do a full DFS episode here with guests and whatnot, um, but because of the return of. It's not a return. Her, I'm, just, she, I'm just saying. It's it just been a week. <laughs> we, <laughs> People. We was going to record, so Mimi said that she wanted to do her show this week because she was up to doing it. So well, we, I mean, we get it. She we, been we cooped, she been cooped up. Yeah, we get it. That's why we're not mad. Yeah, so we, we just, just, we just, just doing a quick. We just doing a quick. It, it was just a conversation. We, we had, had a conversation. Car, just, we had the car. Like, we'll, we'll talk to Mimi. Before. Right. That's all we do. We talk until you get here, uh, so we can at least so, drop some this week. Back to the class. So let me say this: Do you have a female that you consider for seven? Let's take me out the equation because, like I said, we got a we got a brother bond. So as much as we we best friends, we're brothers. So that's different. Okay. Because I, as much as I love my sisters, I think all of my sisters are beyond beautiful. It's another reason why I can be around beautiful women and they don't fucking bother me because y'all all look the same to me now. I could never date anybody like my sisters. None of them. Because anytime I date a girl and you remind me of my sister, I don't like you no more. I see. I don't know though. So do you have a female friend who you can say you're 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 my go-to? Like if you if Mimi said fuck you, I'm I'm recording right now. I can't and answer the phone. She not do you don't want her to answer the phone. Do you have well, I'm, I'm, and I'm you know I'm recording, so I'm not gonna talk to you. Do you have somebody you can call? As far as a female? As a female. I don't know. Then you need to work on your female friends. Anybody you call a like, bestie, so, do, like so. Do you mean just like a friend, or like that I like them? Let's just say they're a friend. So just like a friend, I could call and talk. Yeah, to just about a friend. Because I know one time me and you would, when I'd be dropping you off, you would call this one girl, and y'all would just randomly talk about random shit. Okay, yeah. So I feel like I do have a friend. Like okay, that's what I was like. Because I remember you. Yeah. Like, who the fuck you on the phone with? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my dog. Right, yeah. it's your dog. That's my dog. If she pulled the trigger, could you date her? If she sat there one day, because I know your thing is you're a nice guy. Right. And women overlook you because you're a nice guy. Okay. Damn. <laughs> hey, you sound like that. No, that hey, sounds you, so hard. It sounds harsh, but you know what's crazy? <laughs> I've been binge watching the shot. Okay. So I literally started from episode two because I don't know what it is about certain shows, but I can't watch the first episodes of certain shows, which is why it took me so long to get into the shy. So I just started from episode two and let the recap make the first episode look good. Oh, that's <laughs> so, so I'm gonna get the key thing. You gonna show me the replay anyway? So I get the key points out the first ep- out the second episode in the recap. So and boom, we off and running. So I, I was I don't say bullshit on Facebook. Let me shut up. Okay, but but getting back to the point, okay. If she was to say, "Wow, we should try this thing," let's just see. Yes, let's see where this can go. Are you mature enough to do it? I don't even want to know. <laughs> I guess they was playing cup ball. So um, why does why does she talk to you? Know, let me go to our page. I, I don't. Guess. Could you do it? Let me ask you this. Are you mature enough to do it? Let's start there. Yeah, I think I'm definitely mature. Bro. Because when when do you feel like if it's not going the way you want it to go, you're going to walk away? Oh my. Damn. We don't read comments. <laughs> no, I apologize. I mean, my page, that, no, my page when comments are when the show starts, if I don't make them public, they don't show up on our system. Uh, don't worry, Serena. There's going to be a part two. This is just a quick conversation until me and me get here. This is not a full blown conversation. Right? We just talking. We just talking. 
I'm just talking to me when we get here. For everybody, <laughs> oh, damn, uh, the one time uh, niggas, <laughs> <laughs> any other time we record, nobody, nobody here, but everybody, everybody, everybody here. here. We definitely can sneak in this motherfucker. Right. All right. So, could you do it? Can I do it? Could you do it? I don't know. I don't know. Could you date someone you never had a sexual attraction to be with to begin with? Now, at the moment, could I date someone I never wanted to fuck? Yeah, you like you never had that initial. I want, I want to hit that. Why? What? What? How, what? What got me here then? She was good to look at, but you never wanted to pull the trigger on it. Now, I can't date somebody that I like. Ladies, if you're watching in the comments. Please don't take this the wrong way. I don't think any human being can date a girl that he don't want to fuck. Like, and I don't know if that sounds bad, but it's like, if I'm not physically attracted to you, because I feel like that's the ultimate goal when you're physically attracted to somebody, eventually you want to fuck. I mean, am I wrong? You, you're not wrong. And I, feel, I feel like if I don't have a desire for you, what the fuck are we really doing? We're just friends at that. We're we're really good friends at that point, right? But do they say that you're the person your lover should be? Your no, because if I don't want to fuck my bestie, I <laughs> you know, why you say like, so like, hard? I, I mean, cause I don't, bro. This is so like this is fucking mind boggling to think about out loud. We think about other wild shit out loud. Like it's like she's your best. Okay. And now your bestie wants to fuck you. Because if you want to have a relationship with your best friend and now make him your boyfriend, you know what? I really think that best friendship is two different things. Okay. I'm starting to think that is is separate. Okay, break it like, down. Like there's like your best friend within your, like there's your best friend within your girlfriend. Okay. And then there's just like your female friend. Okay. So why do you feel like women can't separate that two concepts? Because your woman don't want you to be communicating with your best friend who's a woman. When you don't when you don't look at them that way. But I feel like if you have a female best friend, she's essentially one of the homies, but you have more leeway with that. Because okay. there are certain things that you can't do with your male best friend. This is true, because I hope you don't like, like that. If I wanted to go... Hypothetical. Go for it. If I wanted to go see Twilight, <laughs> I felt like... But this is... <laughs> you like... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I'm laughing at the two niggas just say, hey, bro, you ready to go see that new Twilight? Yeah. Nigga, I've been waiting. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> I, I feel like... <laughs> I uh, feel like I can't ask Tone, hey, bro, let's go see Twilight. I'm just going to download it. Paul, <laughs> good call. But I could call, like, Janelle or Aziza. Just like, hey, let's go see Twilight. Just on some friendly shit. Okay. But you can't ask your male best friend that. Now, you can ask your female best friend. Like, but then I feel like there's a different kind of friendship you have with your girlfriend. Okay. Because just as well as I can say, hey, Aziza, let's go see a movie. We could be like, let's go to the museum or some shit. Like, just on some friendly shit. Right. But then there's your, like, your your girlfriend friend shit. That's like, go see Apple together. I don't fucking know, because at this time, at this point, these are not even, these are dates. Every these are, date these are date, with girlfriend. and it's the shit that we enjoy together. That's why we do it. Okay. I don't so, fucking get this whole your best friend. Your best friend. This is wild to think about out loud. Right. I swear to God. So since we're here, next 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 thing. Why is it easier for a man to date somebody he has friend zoned but gets highly upset when a woman won't date you if she's friend zoned you? I think because we look at that situation. because even though Cause that because going from what you just said, like if I am not attracted to you to want to be sexual with you, you're just a friend. Yet if a woman does that to a man, because that's literally why most men get friend zoned. They're just not sexually attracted to you. Yo, that's 
fucking wild to say out loud that like niggas that, really be getting friend zone because they're not fuckable. They're not just at the end of the day. <laughs> that's exactly no, what it is. We are no, crazy we people. Are, no, no, peep game. Women say it all the time that within the first five seconds that they know if this guy is fuckable, it is his to lose, right? Right. So that means that if that five seconds, you just happen to be a nah. I don't want to fuck him. You can't be mad at that. You just not what she wants to fuck. But that. But you can't that, accept somebody the fact just said it right there. That is ego. Like when you. It's ego, bro. Is this most of the shit niggas do or way we feel? It's all ego driven. It's always ego. It's all ego. That's just like when you like the chick and the chick don't like you back and you feel like you she playing hard to get, but you like her. So now your ego is making you do this shit. No, that's because that, you don't want to be told no. That's forty five percent. The other sixty five percent because society tells you you gotta apply pressure to the situation. This is true. So when do you feel like a nigga just like stop it? Because me, me and you, right. okay. We we sit here every Sunday at 8 p.m. while doing hostly awkward. This is true. Okay? And we constantly see dudes, whether it's publicly on the chat or happens to be in conversations with her, shooting a shot. This is true. Okay? We know for a fact, even if Mimi did not tell us it's a no, we know it's a no. Right. But they still attempt. Right. When do you feel like personally, like if you see a chick, she kind of tells you like, well, I'm kind of not dating right now, trying to find myself. Do you attempt to keep going? Because I've been told by women that they say that to do sometimes because they're trying to nicely reject them. Right. Do you apply pressure now? Or do you chalk it up as an L and let's just see where regular I, friendship go? I feel like I feel like as a dude, you know when you should keep pursuing and you know when you should stop. Okay. At least I do. Like, if I'm shooting my shot in the inbox, okay. you kind of start out with the friendly shit. Like, I mean, every nigga does it. I don't care how you do it, you do it. Whether it's good morning in their name, good morning beautiful, grand rising queen, you all niggas start with the friendly shit. It doesn't fucking matter. Not all niggas start that way, bro. It doesn't matter what they say. They <laughs> start with some friendly shit. In their opinion, and they think it's friendly. I seen some niggas jump out the window on the first text, but continue. To the to the, the latter. The ten percent niggas start with the friendly okay, 10%. shit. Ten percent morning. Hey, beautiful. All that fly shit. Right. That's the okay. Now I gotta see if I get a response. Okay. So if she bites on the response. You know, you you can't like if niggas don't know how to fucking have a conversation, have a conversation. What's I think a lot of niggas don't know how to kind of have conversations anymore. If you say good morning, obviously they're gonna say good morning back. Right. So where do we go next? A lot of people don't know how to do that. That that low key is tough, but I mean, a lot of people don't know how to do that. Like I usually I, I see. I I feel like I'm giving up some gems. No, no, you might need no. Real talk, bro. You might need to, bro. Like real talk. There's a lot of niggas. There's a lot of niggas. Like let's go to the last step. Like oh, right there. She said, women like they like want truth and consistency. I mean, real consistency. We have seen it multiple times. Biggest. No disrespect to women. Women. Can only take what you doing so, so many, many times, times before okay. what I'm doing is blocking you. Now, now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. So here's here's a here's a situation. I feel like I'm away on a week vacation. I, I feel like I just had. Okay. So um, I be meeting chicks on the internet. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody does. We trying to get you. You shoot, you shoot shots. You jump in people and right. it's, it's crazy. It's what the. It's the internet. It's the internet. It's what it's there for. So I care nobody says. I recently I slid. Did you? I got the number. You got the okay. So We're talking about party. Everything Gucci. So like, so we have a conversation now. First time we thought like we talk we text right. Then she was like, I was like, do you like to talk or text? Great question. So she was like, well, I prefer to talk on the phone. 
So I'm like, okay, cool, because I was trying to play the game anyway. So I, if I could play the game and talk to you, valid. I don't think you should for the first few conversations. Why? All you got to do is put the TV on you. No, 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 no. At least to talking, me, because if, if I'm, I'm, if I'm playing it. the game and I hear the sound, I'm going to be more into what these fucking generic-ass commentators is saying. But at the same time, if you're playing the game, you focus on the W. And you, t- and you tend to lose. That's why I play with no sound. If I'm if I don't hear that he whooping my ass, I won't care. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, so uh, you like to talk, you like to text, she's like I like to talk. So we have a phone conversation, right? It's cool, cool. Now I feel like all text messages is, is small talk, as it should be. Well, no, to a to a degree. To an I've had some great long term good. To a degree, I feel like texting is small talk. Okay. It's very real. You like you gotta like not be doing nothing, but don't want to talk to have a thorough fucking text conversation. I text it because if you ain't doing shit, and I ain't doing shit. Bitch, call. But oh my, neither here nor there. That's just me. <laughs> like oh my, like niggas who have a thorough text conversation, like not doing nothing. That shit is weird to me. It is like you can really call. Like if you really just sit in there text, but right. you also know this generation is is anyway. Yeah. So we had a conversation, just you know, getting to know people. And she was like, you know, one of my pet peeves is small talk. But how are you supposed to get from point A to point B? That's what the fuck I said. I was, you know, in my head, I was like, well, you know, like, what do you consider small talk? And she was like, that, hey, what you doing? How you doing type shit? Like, I mean, but you got to start off small talk before we can get to a fucking conversation. Because I feel like with small talk, the questions lead somewhere. Now, if you don't want small talk, it's up to you on how you answer this question. You know what I'm saying? True. That shit gotta go. I ain't even gonna hold you, fam. I mean, you know, it, got, it, only, it still it the long, fuck out of like, can only just, be one person who has a key. Just a nigga walking. This is I, damn. What up, nigga? You, you might as well sit, sit down. down right. Right. We just we just jumped we just, we just doing some shit to me again. Because I wouldn't have left the door open if we were fully recording. So, I, but I'm saying though. So I feel. Oh, like, where you be getting these random drinks from? I want one. Universal. What is that? It's a margarita. margarita. Oh, you give me one. I'm sorry. I did. <laughs> so I thought it was a beer. It's a margarita beer. It's cold. I feel like well, yeah, this, this feel... episode is brought to you by Cayman Jack Margarita. It's always ready now, to drink. How, how do you feel about small talk, Tom? Yeah, you as, recently jumped back out in the day. And as up. far as like text messages, I feel like it's small talk. Uh, so you you from the era where they had rotary phones? Right. It, it go. It goes. Only goes so far. You know. Good morning. So, How you doing? Okay, blah, but, blah, blah, blah. I don't so know. do you feel like certain small talk questions can lead to a more in depth yeah. conversation? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So, you, gotta, you gotta ask open ended questions. If I yeah. ask you an open ended question and you give me a fucking no, a, yeah, one color instead, <laughs> instead of going in depth so I can follow up so we can have a real conversation. Now. Yeah, that that relationship is probably doomed to end because I feel like, right that like, and I feel like. I'm a podcaster, so I know how to ask you. Know, fucking, wait, wait, I, think I know how to. I think that's where we have an advantage at. It was because we know how to. And what was crazy was the hard hit. She was like, "I've watched you on YouTube." That sounds so creepy. So like, you, you know, <laughs> I'm a fucking podcaster, like, but you hate small talk. Like, I gotta ask you questions. You to ask where we where. So <laughs> well, fucking weird. So how do you get to large talk without small talk? How do you get there? You I, don't just know, go, I don't know. I think that's asking, the problem. You start asking like political questions and shit. Like, what do you think about Biden in this? Uh, right, but even if I ask you, well, what do you think about Biden? You can simply say he sucks. Yeah, no, like, like, why, you, why, like why are you talking about all this deep shit? Where, where you want me to go? Let's talk about the moon. Talk I, Sarita, I would, Sarita rude as hell. I would, <laughs> there. That one's Sarita. Oh, Charlie Wilson what? ass. What you doing, good morning? <laughs> Beautiful is not consistent. It's not consistent. If I if I say that shit seven out of seven days, that's consistent as a motherfucker. You consistently getting on her damn nerves is what you do. Well, what what do you okay so, put some depth behind it, fam? If you gonna but, say good morning, okay, at least this, this, this is my my spin. But good morning is so 
it's I feel like it's it, you I feel like I'm behind it. This Hope you have a good day. As, well, how bring we, back up the last conversation. Well, how you supposed about? to start? It's seven thirty. I can't say good morning. This, you this, say this, good this, morning. This you say. At least ask you did they sleep well. Good good morning. You about, you about to sew that dope this, this week? You about to smooth those rocks? That open a whole different door of conversation. What I'm saying though, like I ask you if you sleep well. All of them. There's multiple answers. That, 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 that's a typical question, though. That's a typical no, good. No, most niggas would ask that shit after Hey Beautiful. That's the next level of stupid. Yo, thing. don't do that. Because I do I that. Know, I, I do. I do that. I really be checking, fam. Don't, don't do that. Because I know my sleep Because I definitely ask people, how did you sleep last night? So don't, don't do that, bro. You got to rub that. I guess, I guess, sometimes I, I care. <laughs> but if I don't, I don't. <laughs> but you don't. I but I do. Listen, pity me a small talk. How'd you sleep last night? But oh I shit, I've been up all night because. Uh... <laughs> but then they tell you like, uh, why the SWAT came the... through the house? <laughs> like shit, but we need a small talk so we can get there. Yeah. Now, rule number two: never sell dope where you lay okay, at. So, <laughs> let me, let me, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. You and Tom talk business all the time, right? Do we? Yeah. Well, well like, 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 it's, been, we it's been a long time, but yes, like, we are a business you know, associate. You don't smoke talk to you before he tell you some serious oh, no, 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 no. You no. go straight in. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Hey. As long as you're here. Hey. Uh, right, right. <laughs> you know as I was saying it, I thought about it. I was like, you know what? Tom don't never small talk me either. He don't never say, yo, bro. He just like, it's straight to whatever the fuck you have. Like, lie. Can I ask you? Oh, you lie. Do, do, I not, do I not ask you that first? You hit me with some bullshit. I guess so, that's what you understand. The question itself is already bullshit because you know I'm high. Bro. I just want to know what kind of drugs are you doing that you are seeing candy coated raindrops? Uh, cocaine is my guess. You know I didn't know where that juice came from, bro. What if... No, that was mini juice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad you put it in. Put it, yeah, because we show. I ain't been here in a week, so I don't know how that would have worked. It's my first time. Yeah, I, like, you took, I think we took the whole week off together. Hey, in a vacation. Yeah. We needed vacation it. days. TDR needs a break sometimes. You know. So how is, how's your week been, Tommy? Since you had a whole week off, it's been adventurous. What you do? Um, you go on a date? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yo, any nigga say it's been adventurous, I really don't know if I want to know. What you're no, doing. I want to know. Um, I I did go on a date, but I don't know if it counts as a date. But I did go. How did we uh, get there? Small talk. <laughs> like a motherfucker. <laughs> small, okay. Small talk that led to. Because asking what you doing for the day is probably a small talk question. Small talk that led to ice cream. See? And. Now, did you invite her to the ice cream? I did. But you had to start with some small talk, right? You going to get ice cream or fro, yo? My, my bad. I went to uh, custard. I went to cops. Okay. Um, so you so care. Which, which cops did you go to? Shit, poor Washington. Nigga, we pulled up. It was so many white people. Like, white people really go to cops, get their food, and eat outside. Yeah, yeah they like to hang out. That's, I, that's, I, that's, I, that's I'm not a, I don't, mm-mm. nah, not outside, bro. I don't want, I don't want to eat my burger out here. Nah. Just eat the shit, like, on a nice day? Yeah. yeah. If we're going to eat some ice cream, I'll sit outside with you eat some ice cream. They be outside on them stone-ass fucking chairs. And it, that's having that's an that. entire meal. That's, that's what it be like. I went on the one on uh It's flies on your thing. ketchup, boss. Like, get it out of here. You are talking about the same group of people who have no problem getting licked in the mouth by their dog, bro. Let's grasp that concept. I saw a chick make the illest ice cream tree ever out of the toilet. I was like, this is it? No! She was at home in a garage. She did this on her own accord. Bro, no. it was tight though, cause like she took the yeah, water. I didn't come over here until you did, Tommy. I just want you to know that she took the water out the back of that motherfucker and filled it up with like uh, punch. So you know when you pull, you flush the toilet, the water and comes up through the bowl. Right. So, so she had like ice and fucking uh, sherbet, ice cream, and all kind of fucking fruit toppings in this motherfucker. Yep. Flush the toilet, and that shit made. What is the drink white people used to make that they put the sherbet ice cream in the Seven Up? I don't know what that's called, but I know just. I, I know, that's I, I a, never, that's essentially what this bitch made. I know what it's called. It's actually good. D- yeah, but not out of a toilet, bro. No, that's not. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I've had. No, I've wow. definitely Sher- had sherbet shit. Wow, <laughs> sherbet shit. Wow, <laughs> she did that. 
And she made like some chocolate ice cream in that bro. I don't think that I think that's just for show because I don't believe they'd be really like. But you seen, that. have you seen this video? Yeah, I seen I, I seen her do something like a Jello or something like yeah. a dessert or some shit. And... All right, so let me. Like, bro, this is real Billy ingenuity if I've ever fucking seen it. It must stay cold in there though. All right, so let me ask you this question <laughs> before Mimi get here because she definitely says she's on her way right now. But um, what does the value of money mean to you, Tommy? This is not small talk. The value of money. What does it mean to me? Yeah. Uh, Because you're talking to me and Juan, so this is about to go left like a motherfucker. So Can I pose the question that I posed to you? That's how I'm setting it up so you can go ahead and close the deal. So, one of us got to eventually go let her in. Tom was telling me a story about how he uh, he encountered a young lady. Okay. A lady of the night. Back in his heyday. No, it wasn't even a heyday, bro. It was around the corner. Like last week. <laughs> like around the corner. <laughs> around the corner. Oh, it was And this young lady yeah. said she was selling pussy for $25. Okay. Now, I, I immediately declined. $25 pussy sound like some shit you don't want no part of. Not at all kind, yeah, sir. That's true. Your $25 is way too valuable to that, spend it on vagina. That doctor visit for chlamydia is going to cost way more. $25 for that pussy or $25 for a pussy in general? I don't think I don't, twenty five dollar cat is yeah. I think in great. general twenty five dollars. Anyway, I don't okay. think it's worth it. Period. Yeah, I don't think it's so worth you've it. never had some pussy that you got for free and were like I would have paid twenty five dollars for that. <laughs> no, I feel like that's an insult. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm doing, I feel like that's. An I mean, when the going rate is, is forty, anyway. but minimum, but, but it's free. I mean, you already got it. It's starting free. price is forty bucks, bro. So offering twenty five because you got it. Right. Free. So you are like it's already like really low on the market. What, right. what, the, what the fuck? Up, and, and now you're low balling. But there's a deal. Like <laughs> you just, and you just said it was great. That's the thing, bro. You just said it was great. Was great. You lucked up and got it for free, <laughs> and you're only tipping twenty five. Uh, you lucked up on it. Didn't know it was gonna be great. It ended up being fire. And you like okay? Would damn. you would you say that's usually you keep it? Would you say that I'm keeping this? Oh, do you tip your barber? I do. Now, Go would ahead. you say tipping your barber can get expensive? Yes. How much do not to get in your personal business? But how much do you tip your barber? Uh, between five and seven dollars. Would you tip your barber twenty five dollars? I haven't gone that high. Now he does the same shit every single time. Every <laughs> single time. <laughs> but but if he gets me in above and uh, in some kind of crunch time, then I gotta be in. Like no no no. In. This is just average. This is day. just Friday morning, eleven thirty. No. I'm on time. He's gonna cut my hair the same way he cut my hair two weeks ago. No. Twenty five dollar tip. Twenty five dollar. That's no. that's too much, right? It's probably, it's probably too much. But you just said twenty five dollar pussy is a discount. Do you see how you do not value your twenty five dollars the same? It, it was too much to tip your barber, but this bargain basement vagina at the great sale of twenty four ninety nine is a discount. It depends on the product. It definitely depends on the product. Money moves differently based on the holder. A thousand dollars to a nigga who works a job and only gets paid minimum wage. He's balling. Move, means a whole lot more than a nigga with a trust fund. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, life is different there. But this was a snapshot of the Death <laughs> Fresh show. Uh, make sure you check us out. We will actually go back to our regular time of recording on Saturday I night. Accidentally fell in this bitch. Huh? I just accidentally fell in this yeah, bitch. Yeah, it was. Kind of just, yeah, we, we just did a show because me and Dog had a weird ass conversation in the car. And I still want to know what kind of drugs you got to be on to see candy coated raindrops. I don't know, but that's some good shit. I don't want it. I feel I feel like to see candy coated raindrops. You won't ask it. No, no, no. I think you can achieve that if you like crush your mushroom up in the weed and proceed to smoke your mushroom. Dog, how great would that be though? To see candy rain? Rain, yeah. Rain yeah. coming down as rain, candy. Raindrops is just Tootsie Rolls. And Tootsie Rolls and uh, uh, Jolly, no. Jolly Ranchers and, no. and Starburst and shit. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know why. I don't, I don't know, know why. Because eventually you're going to get candy corn rain. And I don't want that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, imagine if every day just Circus rain. peanut rain. Just what? imagine if Peace. every Random ass wet little <laughs> fucking birds falling from the hey, sky. That is fucking up my paint on my car. 
Exactly. Uh, you're right. He's won that sugar, son. That's not good. Because I'm thinking about that. No, no. Fuck that dream. Because you know it usually get hot either before it rains or after it rains. Sticky ass marshmallows on the sidewalk, bro. I'd be so pissed. Nope. I don't want that. Keep that shit. Fuck my J's up with some sticky ass oh, marshmallows. Oh, shit. All kind of shit fucked up. Then you got your dogs out there eating the shit off the ground. They hyper as shit. It's, 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 it's dirt, mud, and candy out there. Right. Of what like, type of shit is Imagine having your girls outside like this. What's that going to be like afterwards? <laughs> Shit, I gotta worry about the other women in my life. They got they addicted to candies, and they gonna be out there with a fucking bucket on the lawn. How do you decide? It's about three inches of candy that fell today. I wonder would it be like different candies for different kind of storms, like thunderstorm. I have like is your candy, candy based on your region, right? Remember them little fucking raisinets? Yeah, I like raisins. I actually though. like those. Chocolate yeah. covered raisins. No, fire. The, what the fuck is them things that they used to sell at the movie? The Raisinets, probably. At the what? At the Goober's. At the move. Goobers. Gumdrops. Uh, men. Uh, they might G- be junior mints. What they look like? It's a big ass fucking jelly thing. Oh, it's like a big ass fruit snack. Like a fat as a They get stuck in your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's going on, everybody? So we about to get the hell up out of here because the weird shit is about to start. For those of you guys, make sure you check us out every Saturday nights at 8 p.m. if you want to join the line. We drop every Thursday. Oh, boom. Told you about 45 minutes conversation. Yep, I knew we was doing this. I'm shutting it down. Hey, I like the visual looks good. It's a visual. Yeah, I'm used to the visual. Tone got all angles on my handsomeness. Don't know what care. Nobody cares. But with that being said, people, we are fucking out of here. Stay out of niggas' DMs if you don't like them. Peace.